In today's tech video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can take an iPad like this and mirror it to a Roku device, whether it be a Roku stick, a Roku TV, anything dealing with Roku, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process and how easy it is to achieve this. That's today's tech video. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you can get notified for future videos. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So today we're gonna to show you the step-by-step -step process and how to take your screen on your iPad and mirror it to your TV through a Roku device. Now, the one that I'm using right now is this one here. This is the Roku Express Plus. This is just a, one of the cheaper ones. If you look at the Roku line of products, they have different types of uh, devices that they use. They, you got cheaper sticks all the way up to like a Roku Ultra. Uh, this one here was not the cheapest, but it was like the next one on the tier. Now, the reason I did go with this one here is because of this remote here. This remote has a power button on the top and then on the sides, it's got the volume button. If you go with the really cheap Roco stick, it doesn't have the volume or the power button. So you gotta use two remotes and that gets to be kind of annoying. If, uh, I like to be able to just to grab one remote and be able to turn on my TV, turn it up and everything. So uh, that's why I went with this one, but no matter what Roco, Roku, device you have. Does anybody else have that trouble of calling this thing Roku or is it just me? But I, this will work on any Roku device. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the steps and what you need to do to, to achieve this. Um, go ahead and grab your iPad and you're gonna wanna download the Roku app. Okay, so the Roku app looks like this and then you'll just tap on this and get it going. Once you have the Roku app, let's jump over to the TV next. Okay, so grab your Roku remote here and you're gonna go over to the left hand side here and go down to settings. Next, you're gonna go over to system, right there. Go over again and then go to system update. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are on the latest update of this device. So you'll click there, make sure that it's, it downloads the latest update. You may already have the latest update, but if not, this is the first step that you wanna do. Okay, next up, we're gonna go ahead and I'll take you back to the front here um, as if you were doing this for the very first time. All right, so here's the home screen again. Next, you're gonna go down to settings, go down to system again, and then over to screen mirroring. Now on here, you'll click over, and it'll give you three different options that you can choose from. You can go to prompt, always allow or never allow, uh, so that way, when a device tries to cast to your TV screen, a prompt on your screen will, uh, will ask you to confirm. Or you can go to always allow, and then when a device tries to cast to your TV screen, it'll automatically be connected. So it, based on preference, whatever you wanna do here, um, I just put mine on prompt. And then you can select never allow if you don't want anybody uh, to ever screen mirror to your TV. I don't know too many people that would actually use that setting because you gotta be pretty close to the TV, I would say, a few feet away to be able to cast to it. So you don't have to worry about like a neighbor trying to cast her device to your uh, screen. But uh, yeah, pick one of those and then go from here. Okay, next up, you're gonna to wanna to grab your iPad here and go over to that Roku app that you installed. Click on that, go to continue. This is the first screen that'll pop up. Uh, just click next, go through all the notifications and yeah, you know, I want notifications allow. Okay, got it. Okay, so we're now we're on this screen here. Okay, so this is the home screen. Once you get to this part here, you're gonna to wanna to click on the bottom right and go to media and easily cast your photos, video, and audio or connected Roku device. So we're gonna click continue. And now it's searching. And as you can see, it pulls up the Roku Express Plus right there. So I'll tap on that. And then it shows the music, photos, video. So I tapped on video. We'll go to give access, access to the library. You wanna you want grant access to it. Okay, so what I did is I just took a generic video of my dresser here. As you can see, it's loading video on the screen from my iPad. It's the same video there uh, playing, or actually getting ready to play. There it goes. So it's playing on the TV from my iPad. This is just a generic video that I shot here of my dresser and the TV itself. So that's how you mirror it. Easy peasy, simple way to do it. Okay, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. Um, now doing this will also work the same way with using an iPhone. So if you do want to mirror your iPhone, 
to your Roku device. This is the same exact steps that you would do. Uh, this video is just uh, exclusive to the iPad just because you know some people uh, search you know, iPad mirroring and, and not iPhone mirroring. So it works either way with the iPhone or the iPad. But uh, yeah, hopefully it was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back on the next one. So until then, go out there and be creative.